How y'all doing, man? Hope y'all doing good. Look, I cannot be too loud because it's currently 3.37 a.m. So, shh, can't be too loud, but I hope y'all are doing good, fantastic. If you ain't seen my last video, go check it out, man. Show me some love, but for anybody that don't know, I'm Day. Welcome to Cloud9, where we talk about season of day. I just document my life and also just give y'all some insight of what I be thinking about when I'm learning, constantly learning. And I'm loving the journey, man. It's what, 57 of us, bro? Like, hey, I love every single one of y'all. And I got to update my email too, so that y'all could send me emails. If, if y'all got any questions that you want me to answer, I'm gonna answer it and I'm not like I'm not gonna charge you for that and I'm like if you got like a, like a relationship question or you got like a question about you not in the right headspace or anything like that I'm gonna I'm gonna fix my email and then you can just email me and then I'll help you but with that being said right so this is a non-scripted video I know my uh I don't know when I posted one but I had one video where I was trying something out with like a teleprompter and like scripting the video and i was just going and going and going so and this one be a little bit more chill i know i got a lot of energy um just how life you can't help it but with that being said though i do want to talk about one thing um that's been on my mind lately been on my soul and i just talk about it and i think that the universe works in so many it works in mysterious ways so much bro and here's why i say that because currently you know if you saw this video right here that one right there that book right there perfect timing reality transfer i'm talking about how like the things i'm learning in this book right and one thing i learned is not nothing i learned but something that's been reinforced and reiterated to me is how the moment that you stop desiring something is the moment that it happens. And like, I could tell y'all like, that's one of the, like if that's something I could tell people to embody and embrace, it'll be that. Because I know for me, especially like when I was in college, um, there'd be times where I see a girl, right? And then I'd be like, you know what, like, I wanna get to know her. And then I just go about my day. And then what do you know? We, it just ends up happening where we end up meeting, we end up talking to each other. And I haven't, I cannot tell you how many times that's happened where I literally just see that, I'm like, you know what, I wanna get to know her. And I just keep on walking. And then it just works for me. Like, the reason why that happens though is because there's one thing I don't have, right? It is needy energy, okay? Some of y'all like desire it so much that you say that you don't have it and you say that that's what's gonna make you fulfill and you're not gonna get it that way. When you put all your energy outwards to something, you literally giving that thing all of your energy. You can't have that for yourself no more. So you're making it more important than what it actually is. And the moment that you make something more important than what it actually is, that's when everything starts to gather balance because life is trying to balance us you got one in the spectrum right where you don't give two fucks about nothing okay the other spectrum where you you do you, you can't live without it right two at the two ends of the spectrum you want to be right in the middle okay right in the middle and the reason why is because when you think something's too important right like i know like let's go back with this example like there was times when I would like, I remember like sixth grade, I'm gonna tell you a story, but. So I was sixth grade and I had this crush on Shawty, right? Um, we gonna call her Kendall, right? Nah, I was working up the courage to go talk to her. I was like, every day I wake up in the morning, I'm like, dang, today's the day, today's the day. Next day, today's the day. Next day, today's the day. This wasn't happening, right? So I ended up like, being like, you know what, man, just do it. It's like, something just told me, just do it, man. So 
she was with her friends, right? And I was like nervous, like legs was wobbly, like I was shaking, like I was like, yo, bro, like it's go time. Like I gotta really step my game up. You know what I'm saying? Like what if she says no, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up walking up to her, right? This is what happened. I had so much neg I had so much negativity, so much pessimism, so much just anxious energy, right? I went up to her, I said this. I said, hi, 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 excuse me, Kendall. Do you, and as soon as I said, do you, she said no. And then walked away with her friends. And I was, I was, I was like, stunned up. I was like, bro, I couldn't even finish my sentence, bro. And then I looked back on it and I was like, yo, it's because I had so much negative energy. Like your energy speaks before your words, dude. That's just one example of how like when you make something so important that you end up putting so much value on it, it's too much stress in yourself. And sometimes that causes you to get the opposite of what you want. And it may sound counterintuitive, but low key it is, I ain't gonna lie. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. It is counterintuitive, but incorporate this into your life. Like just take it easy. Like already, already live like you already experienced it. Like, let me tell you, let me show you something. I already live like I got we like we a million strong, bro. Like we one million deep. I already live like 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 it's like it's happening to me in my head and in my heart. It's already happening. So what does that mean? One, it's not something that I need. You know what I'm saying like I'm fine without it. It's cool. Like but I do want it though. I'm not having I'm not having a desire to do it. It's just a want. A desire is like you gotta get it no matter what. Like you need it. You have to have it. And the want is like, okay, I'm I'm fine with getting this. You know, like I think the the book talks about how there's a difference between outer intention and inner intention. And I'm I'm gonna make this real quick. I don't get too like uh, scientific or anything like that. I'm gonna make it real simple for you. One thing you should look at is your intentions with the goals that you have in life, all right? So your inner intention is just your concentration on you having to act to get something, okay? You're concentrated on the process of getting it. Outer intention is your concentration on having it. It's a difference. The difference between acting to get it and then pretend, not pretending, but like concentrating on already having it and it already existed for you. The sec, the latter is what you want because you operate, and I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna sound like one of the spiritual niggas, but you just gotta, you just gotta listen. Let me, let me, let me cook, bro. Let me flow. When you operate at the frequency of the version of you that already have, that has the thing that you want. All you have to do is just wait on time to catch up with that reality or that version of you that has what you want or that's the version of you that you want to be. If you want to be a more charismatic, smooth, charming person, you embody that right now in the present. You look yourself in the eye, you say, you know what, I love myself, you know, I'm a good communicator. And the way, the, the, and the reason why you'll start to see that in your interactions is because the way that you talk to yourself it's going to be the way that you talk to other people. The way that you interact with yourself is going to reflect the interaction with other people. So, the level of importance that you have on something, if you have more importance on it, it's nine times out of ten, you got to detach from, you got to detach from your expectations. When you detach from expectations, the universe just stops. Like, I heard a quote that was like, where energy goes, even the universe stops to admire. And when your energy is to yourself, the universe is going to stop. Like, you know what? I admire your energy to yourself. So I'm going to give you what you want. And everything else that you want is just a byproduct of that. Facts, bro. It's facts. So I ain't going to talk about you all too much. It's probably like, what? It's 3.46. So almost 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, that's just something I want to get off my chest. You have not seen this video this one right here i highly recommend it um 
Road to 1K. I need a thumbnail. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Type shit. All right, I should do it. Anyway, though, like I said, Road to 1K. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate love all of y'all. Look up for that email change. I'll probably uh, do like a community post um, when I change it so y'all can send me emails or ask me questions and shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to let you know the day that we start streaming. Now, I got a lot more content coming up too, a lot more reactions. And the reactions I got, it's not like the react it's not like the videos you see on here. Like, I brought some help. And, you know, right now, it's the, it's the entertainer. Like, I do a mix of everything. So, be on the lookout for that. With that being said, though, I ain't gonna talk to y'all too much. I love every single one of y'all. Well, to 1K. I'm glad we're going strong. Like the video below. With that being said, bow.